What's up everybody, True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today, continuing my 2021 year-end top tens as we're gonna look at my number six welterweight in the world right now at 147 pounds, the uh, undefeated Virgil Ortiz Jr. who is a star on the rise, he really is. He um, was coming into 2021, uh, coming off of a 2020 where he stayed unbeaten but really hadn't been truly tested by a top tier guy yet. You know, he'd be beating a couple, uh, I'd say C-level welterweights that had somewhat names be C-level welterweights. Um, and he really needed to show himself against a more solid B welterweight, you know. And um, he kicked off his year in March, taking on former 140 pound champion, Maurice Hooker who was primed to be a welterweight. He's always a big guy at 140, and he was, only had the one loss to Jose Ramirez in that unification bout, so um, this was gonna be a true challenge, and it was, but Virgil Ortiz just is a man on a mission. He pressed forward, walked through the fire of Maurice Hooker the whole way, and he stopped Maurice Hooker impressively with a seventh round knockout. Um, I believe it was on a body shot, he just overwhelmed uh, Hooker. Hooker didn't, uh, you know, was throwing good shots, was landing good shots, but just it was uh, not enough as um, Virgil Ortiz was just too much for him. But the uh, the other fight took place, uh, his second fight took place in August when he took on former world title challenger, the mean machine, Edigis Kavlyauskas. This was gonna be a real test right here because Kavlyauskas lost to, um, his only loss was to Terrence Crawford a couple years back where he actually should have been scored a knockdown over Crawford even though it wasn't he did hurt Crawford and put him down and was very much in that fight until Crawford figured him out took over and stopped him in the ninth round but it was going to be a true test for for Ortiz and Ortiz went out there and passed the test I think he put the mean machine down uh at least three to four times and finished him off with an eighth round TKO, actually one round faster than um, than uh, Terrence Crawford did it. And it was just impressive. Uh, per, it was an impressive performance by the undefeated Virgil Ortiz, you know? He left no doubt. He really is a star on the rise. Um, if you didn't know that already, he really, you know, you, you need to know that now. This guy has a great combination. He's a good boxer puncher, um, has a good mix of both and can really get it done. And, um, you know, we'll look at his stats right now, which are um, pretty impressive. He's only 23, very young. He's 18 and 0, 18 knockouts. And right now he is the WBC and the WBO's number one ranked contender. So is Virgil Ortiz ready for the big time? Now the WBC, that's Errol Spence. I don't believe they're gonna work out a deal. Errol Spence is gonna fight your Dennis Ugas in a unification bout next. Uh, you know, it'd be up to the WBC to mandate that fight uh, next year. Or, I mean, uh, in the second half of the year. So that wouldn't be next. But what about Terrence Crawford? You know, Crawford, um, in my opinion, is going to be looking for a first half of the year opponent. Is Virgil Ortiz ready for that smoke? Is he ready for the best fighter at 147 and, and one of the pound-for-pound -pound best fighters in the world? I don't know. Uh, right now, I'm leaning towards he's likely not going to do that. He's probably just going to stay busy. Actually, he is. I'm sorry. March 19th. He returns against Michael McKinson just to stay busy as he pushes forward towards something else. But I'm really hoping he gets a major fight against a top 10 guy this year. He deserves it, and he needs to really keep himself on that level by fighting the top tier guys. So we'll see what happens. But that's it. That's what I got on my number six welterweight in the world right now at 147 pounds, the undefeated Virgil Ortiz Jr., and those are my 2021 year-end top 10s continued. I hope you enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.